I mean, the NBA is about winning rings, so you'll get a kid that, you know, wants to win ball games and win championships, because if you win championships, I guess the greatness comes within that, so you're going to get somebody that wants to win. Anxious. Like, I just can't wait. Like, dance is just lining up, and it's just getting closer and closer. Like, like every morning is just like, when is this day coming? When is this day going to come? I mean, being so close, you know, to my goal and my dream, or, you know, getting to the NBA, uh, I still can remember the exact day and every detail uh, of my, my brother's funeral. His, in his note that he wrote, uh, he said, walk across that stage for us. And just being so close to accomplishing that dream, not only for me, but for him as well, uh, gets me up out of bed every morning and through all the uh, hard days and tough workouts. I think just uh, ultimately knowing what I'm capable of and how much I've worked on it and watched basketball and all of my years of life, uh, I'm just really confident in my abilities. Man, it's really here. It's gonna happen too. I'm excited. That's our last time before you walk across the stage, bro. Play the playlist, bro. What it's cool. Playlist? You know what playlist. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, this was his idea. You know, when I got into town, he said, hey, can you work me out? You know, draft day. You know, most kids sleep in, you know, chill, whatever, comes to get his work in. And I think it's just like a sign and, you know, shows his character as a basketball player, as a pro. Um, that, you know, regardless of what the circumstances is, he's going to get his work in. Um, and it's been like that the whole draft process. I mean, from day one, you know, come early, stay late, um, always gets up his extra shots and everything like that. You know, I think he's become like more of a, a perfectionist, you know, like if it's something that he's not doing well at, you know, he's like, yo, let's do it again, no matter, you know, how tired he is, never gives up. Um, so I just think that's a, just a true testament to who he is as a basketball player and as a person. You know, he always wants to put his best foot forward. Um, he's been killing all of his workouts. Um, like I said, for me, today is a little bit more personal than, than normal just because, you know, he, he bought into everything that I told him. Um, and we're here. You know, the draft process went by quick, but um, like I said, you know, we, we locked in every day. We put his work in. You know, he was a student of the game. Um, so for me, I'm just super proud of him. I feel like when we, when we first started, it was more about like getting my body right and getting in shape and uh, like, like focusing on a lot of skill work, you know? And then now, three months later, it's more about putting all that work together and then going out and, and showing what I've been working on, you know? Um, showing scouts and GMs why, why they should pick me in. Why, why it should be a lottery pick and then uh, and all like hopefully top 10, you know? So just all the work and stuff that we've been working on the past three months is just like, now it's getting put to use and really it's just put, putting it in God, God's hands and, and just waiting, waiting to see what's gonna happen. I mean, right now I'm, I'm super excited. If, if anything, I wouldn't say excited, I'd say more anxious. Just, just trying to guess where I'm gonna land and, and Getting ready for the big day, you know, uh, the draft being in Brooklyn where I grew up, it's just, that's really like, it's crazy, you know? Having my whole family be, be in New York and uh, being able to celebrate with me, that's a blessing, you know? I'm super excited, I can't wait, man. I think it's just been a lot of discipline, you know? Um, being able to get yourself up in, a, in an early morning when, when your body hurt, when your legs sore. Um, and then having a plan and sticking to the plan, you know? Uh, when we first sat down and we talked about like what the goals were, it was just like, all right, how are you gonna achieve those goals? And it's just been a lot of like hard work, and discipline, sticking to the plan and, and making it come true, talk, speaking it into existence. I feel like this process, I've been taking like nutrition and rehab and, and literally like weight training, real like serious on a whole nother level, you know? Um, like I said, getting in there with Andy every day and just being disciplined and working harder than everybody else. Um, then after the workout, getting, getting in there with Dr. Fox and, and stretching and making sure I'm eating the right foods and, and weighing in every day. It's, just, it's really the little things that, just to make sure that you keep your body right and then at the same time, being able to recover and then feel good for the next workout, the next day, and being able to do that for three months. It's not. You know how some some players got like an agent and a player type of relationship where it's more like business-like and serious and super strict. But me and Nick, we just we talk to each other like like big brother, little brother type of thing. Like we 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 just like I don't know. We bond in a different way that that other companies and agencies might not with their players. So it's like Nick been one call away the whole process. It's just like. Ever since I met him, ever since I signed with him, he's just like, he's someone that I know I can count on when I need something to get done or just someone to talk to, you know? And, and I really appreciate him for that. You know? And I, I wouldn't be in the position I am today without him. That's a fact. <laughs> <We're doing that. laughs> Draft day, man. Uh, you know we gotta start a day with a cut. Got a little music going, good vibes, and get our day started. Um, and we got a meeting with everybody. Uh, everybody's been invited to the green room. Uh, we got our commissioner's lunch, and then we just start getting ready, man. Put the suit on and, and get spiffy. So uh, looking forward to today. It's gonna be fun.
I think there, there's a couple things. Uh, you know, me just being a competitor and wanting to always be better. Um, I wake up every morning and you know go give it my all so I can get uh, get better every day. Um, and then another part, I mean, being so close, you know, to my goal and my dream of you know getting to the NBA, uh, I still can remember the exact day and every detail of, of my my brother's funeral. His in his note that he wrote, uh, he said, "Walk across that stage for us." And just being so close to accomplishing that dream, not only for me, but for him as well, uh, gets me up out of bed every morning and through all the uh, hard days and tough workouts. I too wanna cry, get a I don't wanna cause no problems. I just wanna live my life, but I keep on hearing about nonsense. Yeah. Me and my dons ain't mobsters, yeah. but you know when you see imposters, yeah. we know how to read them faces, same way you know how to read them comments. If you wanna talk, let's talk, but around here, make sure you walk and you talk no problems. Mm. I just wanna live my life, but I keep on hearing about nonsense. Yeah. Me and my dons ain't mobsters, yeah. but you know when you see imposters, yeah. we know how to read them faces, same way you know how to read them comments. If you wanna talk, let's talk, but around here, make sure you walk and you talk, it's constant. He wanted to be clean. Um, he wanted to do a different look with the with the pants opened up, with that showing the LVs. Um, and also, he's from Brooklyn, New York. I grew up in Brooklyn. Later, moved to Providence. So I, we thought it makes sense for us to come together and make a legendary moment. For sure. So, for sure, for sure. He's clean. I'm clean. <laughs> it's his day. Stop off for this guy. All right, I'm out here in the NYC, checking out the 2021 draft. Boys just left the Weston. You know why I do, I'm always prepared. My DJI, got my Sony, you know what I'm saying? My 200 on there. I'm one of the only dancers I'm prepared for the camera work. You know what, I wanna give a shout out to all the mixtape dudes on the baseline, they don't get a lot of loving. A lot of guys that make this production right now, what we're shooting happen, and I'm proud of them because without the camera work, then our sons don't get to shine. So I just want to throw that back to y'all. on my phone, my sister just walked through, so like, it's about the family, man, all my jerseys and stuff, like, it's years and years of work, so, I mean, we here now, so, you know, it's gonna work out. Yeah, 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 yeah,
A team that drafts me, you're gonna get a hard worker. I'm gonna come in and you know do what's gonna help the team, but I'm gonna be in the gym working to be great. I think you know, that's the main thing. We all wanna be great, we all wanna be successful. I mean the NBA is about winning rings, so you know, you'll get a kid that you know wants to win ball games and win championships, because if you win championships, I guess the greatness comes within that. So you're gonna get somebody that wants to win. Pick that ball up for the very first time. You set a you set a goal and you set a dream. And we always had this saying: I'm not a dream chaser. I'm a goal hunter. You wrote that goal down that you wanted to get drafted and you wanted to play in the NBA, and you accomplished that. Congratulations. Feeling anxious, man. It's getting around that range. Man, we'll see what happens. We'll see what the journey takes us. It. it was uh, it was a spot he really wanted to go to, and he earned it. It's uh, obviously everybody knows an incredible story to have it culminate like this, and his whole family, friends are here, and he's happy. So happy for him. One of the first things I said to you when I met you was I thought you was box office. Um, it's time to show and prove. I believe that more and more now than I even did then. Um, it's been a pleasure being on this journey with you, just knowing I have a small piece of your journey. I appreciate you and more luck. God bless you, bro. Congratulations, man. I told you since the first time we met that this day could possibly come. And now it came, man. What? You know you got plenty more work to do. The work has just begun. God bless your journey. Keep it going. So three months later, you know, I started pre-draft. A lot of hard work. Um, 
Shit, today draft day, you know what I'm saying? And this is the end, you know? You get to celebrate with family and friends. The, the people you love the most, you know? People who helped you get to where you at today. Uh, this is the end of the journey, you know? This is a new beginning.